Alrighty guys, what is going on all you beautiful people? It's E, it's the Big E on the Misty Mountain Gaming Channel. Hope everyone out there is doing alright. Yes, sorry. <laughs> We've got uh, Mr. Mountain here. <clears throat> this is our gnome warrior. He loves his belly shirt, I uh, gotta say. And uh, this is uh, Shoni the Shylent. Found her here in uh, Stormwind. In the Dwarven Quarter. I'm loving her engineering goggles there. Yeah, we're just standing here where she's got her pick out. I got my axe out. We were, nah, we were just shooting the breeze about blacksmithing and goggles and that sort of thing anyway. It's always a little bit kind of misty and foggy here. I guess it's polluted from all the burning and stuff they do in the area. I'm not sure. I uh, made some changes on the interface, guys, and I actually uh, absolutely love it. Uh, you're talking about uh, minimalistic now. I didn't know you could do this. Um, you see how this stuff is faded out? <clears throat> I didn't know you could do this, uh, but you can. <laughs> so I've got all of my bars set up um, just to give it a... Um, it's almost like you know when you do the Alt-Z and the interface goes away. It's a little bit like that. Uh, I like it a lot. <clears throat> Sorry, um, my voice is uh, struggling a little bit here. Anyway, also, I finally found an add-on where I can hide. Um, I can completely remove this chat panel over here, and I like that a lot. It's always kind of uh, of a distraction for me. Uh, I used to have it over here, you know, when I had the whole room. So you could see the whole room, I would hide it back there. What is that? Oh, I didn't actually know we had a button. Okay, well, let me get rid of this because I actually made a macro, a quick macro to hide that. Maybe I did. Hold on, guys. A little bit distracted here. Oh, I didn't make a button. Okay, well, that's cool. Anyway, if you guys are interested in this add-on, if you know if you want to be a little bit more immersed in the game and you don't like seeing all the chat and stuff, uh, it's called Hide Chat Button. Automate, uh, you put it on your thing, and then apparently you'll get a little um, button right here. You just click on. Uh, conversely, you can just do uh, forward slash HBC. Anyway, let me catch you up here. Uh, if there's anything to catch up on, yeah. We logged out in Iron Forge, did some running around. I did some auction house stuff. I do not see a mail icon, which is a little unfortunate because I put a whole bunch of stuff up there. Um, cleaned up the bags a little bit. I bought, don't like buying things, but I generally almost always do. Anyway, we had some gray or maybe some white shoulders. I bought these bad boys for really cheap, and I'm talking about 20 something silver, man. I think it was 28 silver. Look at this. Uh, I mean, you could probably could have vendored these for more. Battle Forge Shoulder Guards of the Bear. 144 armor, 5 stam, 5 strength. I could not pass that up. So we're, uh, we're rocking these now. And that's all I did. Anyway, I came back over here to Stormwind. We have three quests that we're going to be uh, turning in here. And I'm not sure what we're going to do after that. We may go back to the Wetlands and try the Thandal Span quest. Anyway, let's check in with Shoni the Shylent. Good day to you. Good day to you. Yeah, I like this. Uh, did you bring word from Central Command? Uh, maybe I did. Nobregan has fallen under the control of those dastardly trogs. The situation is grave, but perhaps you can help, Mountain. Deep in the Dead Mines is a functional goblin shredder. Okay, well, I can't do this. Um, Off and away. Yeah, that's the, uh, the Dead Mines. And, um... I'm not giving up on dungeons, but if I get invited to something, I probably, depending on where we are at in the episode, maybe I'll go. But um, otherwise, what I'm going to have to do is just set aside a couple of hours and try to get a group together. Uh, which, I don't have much time to do things like that. I've tried it a few times for Zulfrak, but was uh, unsuccessful. 
Anyway, we're going to go to the Stormwind Keep. We have two quests there. And we're going to go do that. One for the Archbishop, or uh, what's his name? Benedictus over there and the Cathedral of Light. Mm, and for, uh, one from the Altar Boy. I can't remember his name. I think it was Jonathan. <clears throat> he wanted us to go find somebody over here. And that's what we're going to do. Also, I want to welcome uh, another new subscriber. I can't see who it is. It might be Tree and Cactus. It might be. I'm not sure. Anyway, whoever it is, I appreciate you. Welcome to the Misty Mountain Gaming family. Yeah, hope you're enjoying some of the videos. Try to have fun here. Try to mix it up. Try to uh, play the game a little bit differently with challenges and uh, different themes. I'm working on some new stuff. I've got a couple other things in mind. I just can't... Uh, it's hard to do more than three Let's Plays <laughs> at a time because I have a full-time job. Who's this guy? Bishop DeLavey. He's looking all bishopy. Stand still, brother. I said stand still, you bastard. Can you what can I do for you? Okay, can't get a good look at him. Look at this guy. That's a priesty looking man right there. Hello, Mountain. I am Bishop DeLavey. No doubt if you're asking me about my business here in the keep, then young Thomas, that's who it was, Thomas, has succeeded in requisitioning you to help our kingdom. He's always been adept at following my requests. You keep away from Thomas, Bishop DeLavey. Sorry, I had to go there. I'm afraid I don't have time to elaborate much, so allow me to be blunt and please try to keep this from becoming common knowledge. Well, I don't spread rumors. I don't. We don't gossip around here. Wish I could move Bishop DeLavey. Oh, I can rotate him. You can do all. So if you hold the control key down, I mean, you can really get into this uh, this add-on here. It's called Storyline, by the way. You can rotate the characters if you hold Alt. You can make them bigger or smaller. He needs to be bigger based on mountain size. Okay, anyway, I'm afraid I don't have... Okay, I just did that. Sorry, guys, I'm distracted as hell. Uh, recently, a diplomat was sent to Theramore to meet with Jaina Proudmore. That diplomat never arrived. I believe the Defias are involved in this plot, but I'm not sure how. The diplomat's disappearance still eludes public attention, but it can't remain that way for long. Agents of the king are already scourging, uh, scor scoring the city for clues, but I have no, uh, but I have my own contacts I would like involved. Wow, good reading. In the Valley of Heroes is an old friend of mine named Jorgen. Find him, give him this note, and follow his instructions. The Valley of Heroes. There's also a Jorgen in um, Dark, uh, mm, Dark. Mm, not Dark Shore. What's the other place south of Stormwind? I cannot believe I can't remember the name, but there's two guys over there by the graveyard. Anyway, I wonder if that's. Can't be the same guy. Obviously, it's not the same guy. Uh, 230 XP. I love what. I love the character animations here. Look how excited Mountain's face is. Watch his eyes. Yeah, I'll take that. Nah, I don't want it, bro. Yeah, we're going to. We'll accept that. You. We will accept that. And uh, sure, light bless you as well whatever that means we also have to go to the library what's that oh that's some pvp stuff so uh if you guys don't know if you're ever in stormwind you need to come up right here this is uh this is anduin he'll eventually be king someday what you do is you can see what i'm doing you do a forward slash slap You just have to do it. Not many people know that you, you're supposed to do that. You used to get an epic buff when you slapped Anduin. I don't know what happened to the buff. <laughs> All right. Anyway, the library is uh, over here, I believe. Did they change this? Uh, this area's been here, but I feel like this is this area is much higher than it used to be. It's probably because I'm playing a gnome, and I can't I can't even see over tables. That's probably what it is. Get a different perspective when you're playing a gnome. What do we got here? 
Look at this pimp with the monocle. How are you? I'm good, man. Yeah, Milton Sheaf. Uh, metallurgy. Ah, yes, we have many books on the subject and uh, and are happy to aid Brother Kristoff with his speech. Now, which particular book was it the good brother needed? I am not sure. One on metallurgy. The Stresses of Iron. Yes, I know the book. Quite a good one. Written by the dwarven miner Margolf Blagan a few decades ago. He spent most of his time deep in the mountains of Cosmodon digging ore. Smart fellow. Well, some might argue. But, but where was I? Oh, yes, The Stresses of Iron. I'm afraid the book was moved to a Northshire Abbey. The caretaker of the Abbey's library, Brother Paxton, wanted to make a copy of the book for his own shelves. Can you imagine that? That's how it used to be. You needed a copy of something, copy of a book. You have to literally copy the whole book by hand. <laughs> but that was months ago. I wonder why it's taking him so long. Ah, sounds like a mystery. Wait, do I have this installed? No, I don't have that. Never mind, guys. That was a hot key. Uh, yeah, we'll go to the Northshire Abbey and check on that for 490 have XP. I feel like I was supposed to do one more thing. This bastard, he's a traitor. Yeah, I know all about you, Gregor. I know all about you. There's an achievement in um, uh, in retail. All these little books you can click on. You can also read these books. There are a ton of them in the game. If you're interested in the Warcraft lore, you can run around. They're in dungeons. They're all over the place in, in the world. You can click on these things and you can actually read them. You don't have to read them, obviously, for the achievement, but that's one of the things I did in retail during my achievement whore days when I was just trying to get all of the achievements because I was bored. Hold on. We have another thing to do. Oh, uh, oh, Valley of Heroes. Okay, let's go do this. And then we'll go to Northshire Abbey. May as well do some of this running around, get this stuff out of the way. Um, let's go this way. Not many people on the uh, in the world these days, I guess. The crowds, you know, they've obviously moved on to uh, through the portal. And I'm sure most of them are level capped by now. Oh my god! Almost got run over by a zebra. I know it's not a zebra. It kind of looks like a zebra. Is it a zebra? Nah, it's not a zebra, right? Who's this guy? Crier Goodman. What can I do for you? Greetings and salutations, hero. I have the latest news from both continents and points beyond for your consideration. See really? You later. Well, are you gonna tell it to me? What a tease. <laughs> Say, like, oh, I've got all this news from both continents and uh, from, from beyond the dark portal as well, but I'm gonna keep it to myself. Just letting you know that I have that information. I'm not going to share it with you. What am I doing, man? Um, yeah, we need to go. What am I doing? Well, we need to go this way. Don't run me over. I need to get Mountain a some kind of blinky headpiece. Some kind of gnomey looking thing with lights on it so people can see me so I don't get trampled by mounts everywhere I go. It's a Friday for me. Um, Where's Jorgen? Oh, this is the guy down here, I think. Yeah, he's just kind of... I think he's fishing or hanging out. Seems like someplace I'd hang out a lot if I was an actual person in the game. Away from the, the city lights and the crowds. What do we got here, Jorgen? What's going on, Jorgen? Hey there. Hey there. Hmm. 
You better have a good reason to interrupt a man in, a, in his fishing. I don't take kindly to peddlers, let alone beggars. Just calm down, Jorgen. With your attitude, I've got a letter for you. Jorgen looks up at you through squinted eyes. I think you mean he looks down at me through squinted eyes, but uh, I'll take that. All right, I'll help you, but not because I want to, but because I'm obligated. Seems like a hell of a guy. And let's get one thing straight. You're knowing far more than you should to begin with. Let's keep this our little secret. Don't go babbling at any taverns about anything you find out, understand? Let's take a sip of my cucumber water while I contemplate this guy's uh, transgressions against my honor. And I'll try to keep that straw away from the mic so I'm not slurping into the microphone. If I have to pull out this axe, Jorgen... Take this note to E. Uh, Elling Trius. Don't say nothing. Don't say nothing else to him. Just be polite and wait for him to respond. Don't worry, he will. Don't be talking to me about being polite, Jorgen. I'm going to only impress this once on you. Mountain, treat this matter seriously and keep your yappers shut. Ugh. You can find... I know where to find him. He's at the cheese shop. I'm done talking to you. For the alliance. Also, Jorgen. For the horde. For the horde, Jorgen. You're not even fishing. You're just standing here. Just move on. Just move on. Jorgen, I hope I have further dealings with you. All right, let's go see uh, Elling. I think I've been calling that guy Eline. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's Elling. He hangs out in the cheese shop. He's a very mysterious character. I think he has... Uh, we went through this on Finn, and I did read some of those, I believe. But uh, this guy has ties to the... Um, uh, Van Cleef and that dungeon. There we go. And the group called friends. Greetings. Give her a little wave there. Can I help you? Uh, hello, Mountain. Is there something I can do for you? Perhaps you'd like to try some of our special Trius Shedder or a block of Darna Darnasian Blue. Um, not right now, my friend. I've got a sealed note for you. I'm sorry. A letter for me? Well, I'll be. Not often uh, you get a <laughs> delivery that's not a crate or barrel when all you do is work. Let's see what this is about. And he looks up at you. Everybody's looking up at me. I like that. <laughs> you look a little tense. You okay, Mountain? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine, bro. <laughs> Jorgen, you old son of a... So that's how it's going to be, huh? All right, I can deal with that. I hope he finds the Twisting Nether that much sooner. He shares the same opinion about Jorgen as I do. Also, I'm digging this guy's eye patch. Here's what's going to happen, Mountain. I'll start using my contacts here, but you're doing most of the footwork, so I saved some coin. Head to Darkshire in Duskwood. That's what I was trying to think of. Darkshire, not Duskwood, or the other place. And find Watcher Bacchus. He usually patrols the North Road right outside of town. Just tell him you're looking into any defias activity for me, and he'll help you out with any information he can. Be careful. All right, we'll do that. Take it easy, brother. No doubt I'll be seeing you again. All right. What are we doing? 20 minutes in. Let's look at our quest log here. Let's run down to... Let's go and see Brother Paxton. I guess this is going to be a running around episode. We'll be getting into Duskwood. I do like that. I like Duskwood. It's one of my favorite... One of my favorite areas. I like the feel to it. It's got some really creepy music. Squire Row. Nice ponytail, brother. Say thank you. Been working on that a while. Ponytail span. I used to have hair. I'm not exaggerating, guys. I used to have hair almost down to my ass. <laughs> yep. Um, 
I had it, I started growing it out, I don't know, in my mid-teens. Never cut it. I didn't end up cutting my hair. Yeah, this would have been like um, probably 86, 1986, guys. Tells you I was 16 years old in 86. <laughs> Tells you how old I am. And I didn't cut my hair until it was either, it was probably 93 or or 1994 when I was 23 or 24 years old I cut it for um, cut it for my job but yeah I would never really wore it in a ponytail sometimes I would just if I was in the gym and you know I didn't want it falling all over the place but guys that was the style in the 90s man all the grunge bands Pearl Jam Soundgarden Alice in Chains Man, what a time for music that was. Uh, everybody had long hair. But I never really rocked the uh, the ponytail. But I did have some long-ass hair. And let me tell you something. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of growing everything out now. Um, just to change it up. I've had short hair for a long, long, long time. I've basically had short hair since I cut it in 93 or 94. But I'm gonna. I'm starting to grow it out now. Right now, it's the longest it's ever been. You can't really tell because I, I brush everything back. But uh, uh, boy, do you shave on some. Uh, you save on some shampoo. I went from using like a hand full of shampoo for the top and the bottom to I cut it really, really short. Just a drop of shampoo washed my whole hair. A bottle of shampoo would last me months. Um, I think this guy, is he in here? He is in here. All right, Brother Paxton. Hello. Mr. Sheaf is wondering where his book is. That's a question. Well, uh, this is a tad embarrassing. I have the book, but I'm still making a copy, and I'm not quite ready to give the original up. Sounds like a, a really dire situation here. I've been meaning to finish my copy of The Stresses of Iron, but, well, you see, I make my own ink for the books I copy. It's my own receipt. It doesn't run or smear and it dries very quickly. Unfortunately, it dries too quickly. My last batch dried up before I could finish the copying job and I haven't had the chance to make more ink. All right, well, you don't have to explain to me, brother. Do what you need to do. Take more. Uh, to make more, I need Rethband ore from the Red Ridge Mountains. Foreman Oslo in Lakeshire is usually my supplier. All right, we know Oslo. See you around. We do know Oslo. All right. I guess we've got a quest uh, going back to Red Ridge. I know where that ore is, and we can mine it, boys, because we are a miner. All right, let's look at what we got. Look, look. Won't you speak words? <laughs> let's look at what we have here. We're probably gonna we're gonna wait we're gonna hit level thirty and we're gonna do the standall span. There's a lot of mobs within this place we need to go, um, but I think we're gonna focus. Where does this go? Uh, forest song. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find that. Hey, brother. Hi there. Look at him heading out of uh, heading out of the abbey. Into Elwyn Forest. He was thinking about greeting me. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, this guy hasn't... Uh, he's still got ribbon dance going on. He hasn't logged in in a while here. Uh, anyway, focus, my man. All right, this is an Ashen Veil. Vale. This is in Thousand Needles. I think we're going to um, we're going to run down to Duskwood. We don't have the flight path there. It's just right here. It's one of those episodes. You have these, you know. Got to do some running around. We'll get this stuff out of the way. Pick up the flight path. Once we talk to uh, the guard in um, Duskwood, we will probably fly uh fly over to red ridge and get that wrath ban or before that quest goes gray on us because it is green right now <clears throat> what a title fish monger hold on see if any of these guys have i'd like to see if any of these guys have recipes 
No, he doesn't. Safe travels. You need something? Uh, no, I guess I'm fine. See you around. How's it going, brother? Salutation. He's fishing. Where's Kadiva? From the Guild Dawn of Tomorrow. Traveling Baker. Kira Songshire. Let's see what she's got. Hey there. Hey there. How's it going? Do I have any junk to, uh, to sell you? I do not. Let's put this stuff up here. And I don't think I need anything. Well, wait a minute. I. No, we need to cook some stuff. I need to cook up. Safe travels. I'll have to do some stuff off camera and uh, focus up on some cooking because. We have three pieces of moist cornbread, and I have nothing else. I think I put a bid on... It may have been some murloc fins. We have... Um... Yeah, we have this recipe. It's the best... It's the highest uh, food buff and uh, restoration food that we have. I think I put a bid on two stacks of this and like the person had listed them for like a copper or something like that. And I bid like two copper. Um, I don't usually do bids like that, but I have gotten lucky. I have won things like that before. Uh, how awesome would it be? You are a fool, sir. That's all I've got to say. But how awesome would it be to win uh, two st uh, 40 pieces of Murloc fins for... Uh, essentially for copper. It would be awesome. I'll answer that question right now. All right, we got two taps out of that. May as well pick this up. Got some more copper over here. Oh, sorry, Mountain. I didn't mean to break your ankles, my friend. Be doing an episode on uh, Finn right after this. And then I'm going to get to the gym. It's a Friday, so Friday evenings. I mentioned this many, many times. Pretty, uh, pretty... Uh, not many people in the gym, in my experience, on Friday evenings. Everybody's going out partying, dude. What level range are these? Okay. Oh, okay. We're good. We're good level for here. Maybe a little bit too high for most of these areas. Not all of them. The graveyard is always a challenge. Was that Forlorn Row or something? Whatever that's called. Somebody's slaying wolves. So we started a new Let's Play. Um, voodoo. Our undead mage. Or not our undead mage. Our troll mage. Calling it the Specialist Challenge. Having a good time with that. Only got two episodes done. But uh, yeah, that's. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. Created a special rule set. It's not quite the Iron Man. It's my it's my own take on the Iron Man. Call it the I guess it could be called the Bronze Man. It's um I call it I call it the Specialist Challenge. We got a little warlock going on here. Hello. Hey, how's it going, brother? Let me heal you up, my friend. What a nice person. Not even a thank you. Some people aren't into, like, you know, interactions in the game. They just don't pay attention or... I don't know. Anyway, yeah, having a lot of fun with that over there. I think it's going to be... I tried to make it... It's still a pretty tough challenge, but um, it's not super, super hardcore. It is permadeath, but I'm allowing some caveats. Um, trying to make it... 
challenging, but also sort of doable. But there are you you can get punished in the game, especially higher levels. If I die, so one of the rules of that specialist challenge, I cannot die at all before level 15. If I die anywhere in there, the, the challenge is over. I'm going to do my best not to. I think I've got a good chance with Mage. I didn't want to do Hunter because we're, you know, we're playing Hunter already. And we did Hunter on the Pugilist challenge as well, which was also a lot of fun. I may, I may relive that experience. But uh, anyway, if I happen to die before level 14, probably just going to re-roll and uh, take that series on. But the challenge is basically, this should be the guy right here, yeah. After level 14, you can only die once every 10 levels. I thought that might be fun to try to do. King's Honor, friend. King's Honor. Not too safe to be traveling about in the woods, Mountain. Well, I'm on the road. Be careful, and if you see anything suspicious or dangerous, contact the watchers immediately. Don't try to take anything on yourself. We're not responsible for anything terrible that might happen to you. Okay. These guys sound like they have an insurance policy. They don't want to be sued. Uh, but we both know you're going to ignore me and fight whatever comes out of the darkness anyway, don't we? Yes. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, you adventurer types, all the same. I like this guy. Uh, here's your sealed note, my man. Oh, Trias or Trias <laughs> sent you, huh? That's a little different. Feel, fright, uh, feel free to fight whatever monstrosities come at you from the darkness. I'm sure you'll be able to handle it pretty easily if you're the type to be hanging around with the likes of him. Doesn't sound like a compliment. So what does my friend need of me on such a gloomy day as this? Um, I forgot what he needs. He just needs me to let you know something. The Fias activity. Well, there's always some activity. Even if they keep to themselves, we consider them a threat. But now I think, but now that I think about it, there was a recent sighting that seemed odd. It must have been a couple weeks ago, but some of their agents had gathered around a deals, Adels, I don't know how you say that word, Steed, Stead, from the report. I guess something big went down. Why don't you check the first thing? Why don't you check their first thing and bring me back anything you find? The farmstead is south of the road from Westfall just as you enter Duskwood, okay? We do know where that is. Be careful. Let's take that. Let's go get the flight path. Not fully awake yet. I mean, let's face it. I struggle with pronouncing certain words in this game all the time. But my brain isn't firing yet. That's why I generally prefer to go to the gym first. All kinds of quests in here. I go to the gym first. I come back. Man, the energy level is just really, really good. Basically working through the night, sleeping most of the day. Uh, okay, let's see. What are we doing on time? Uh, yeah, we're over half an hour. I guess we're going to call this, but... Let's do this. We're going to fly really quick to uh, Lakeshire. Have a good one. And next episode, we're going to see if we can get some Rethban ore. I'm pretty sure... That's what we'll need to do. I did not get a thumbnail of anything. We've done literally no fighting. Aside being attacked in Elwyn Forest. <clears throat> so what I usually do, because I always forget to get a relevant screenshot, we'll take something that just doesn't make any sense. It'll be, it'll be me on the bird. You're like, oh, this is going to be an epic episode. He's on the bird? <laughs> yes, I am on the bird. Why is that up there? I probably moved it. I want to move that. This needs to be down here. Alrighty. Alrighty, alrighty. I could also farm some murloc fins from this area. There is a lot of murlocs here. I just uh, I will try not to let. Yeah, I have no risk of leveling up, but I, I need to make some damn food up. Let's talk to this guy real quick. This is Foreman Oslo. 
Good day to you. Good day to you. You need what? Maybe you haven't noticed, but we're busy fortifying Lakeshire's defenses and repairing damage from recent orc attacks. If you need Rethban Iron Ore, you'll have to get it yourself. Okay, well, just calm down. Rethban Ore is named after the man who first found it, Bart Rethban. I didn't know that. When smelted, it's not as strong as iron, but its ore has a dark, flat color that some scribes use in their dyes. It can be found in the Rethban Caves north of here. We usually have some in stock, but we're too busy preparing for uh, orc attacks to gather any. And besides, Red Ridge Knolls are now living in the Rethban Caverns, and their drudgers are gathering the ore themselves. So if you need some, you'll have to get it yourself. As you said. As you said. All right, almost 1,000 XP for that. We just need five loads, and we need to take it to uh, Brother Paxton. Have a good one. All right, brother. That's Gathelzog. Here's our freaky little SMN friend in his little uh, outfit there. Great to, meet Great to meet you. I don't have anything. Yeah, we've literally done nothing. <laughs> All right, well, let's get into the inn. Well, let's do a little... Uh, Here's some action for you guys. You guys ready for this action? We're going to smelt some copper. That's right. Take it all in. Look at me smelt that copper. One of the best copper smelters this side of Eastern Kingdoms. Whatever the hell that means. Got a little bronze. Probably not going to do the bronze. I think that takes copper and tin, right? Yes, it does. Watch me be wrong. I'm right. Okay. Uh, can we make anything? Um, but uh, we're ba we're basically just uh, I'm loving this axe. Going to be using this mostly unless we run into casters. I wouldn't mind uh, some coarse sharpening stones. Um, let's see. Can't really make anything, can we? Uh, I can make this. I guess we'll. Sure, make a rune copper belt. Try to get this up a little bit. Anything else we can make? Some rough grinding stones? Um, okay. I guess that's it. <clears throat> you need something? I need you to buy that. There you go. Thank you very much. Got a whole bunch of stuff in the bank, guys. Yeah, what is this other quest? Oh, he has the... Um, He has a dungeon quest, pretty sure. Anyway, we're going to check into Lakeshire Inn. We'll sit here in the corner. We'll chill out. Let's do that, and let's do that. All right, guys, I appreciate you. Uneventful episode for sure, but that happens sometimes in the game. Anyway, I do appreciate you guys. I surely do. Anybody that watched, you guys take care. Mr. Mountain and myself will catch you guys in the next one. Farewell. Peace. Peace.